Over the last 50 years, the dairy industry in North America has shifted from pasture-based farming systems to systems in which the majority of cows are housed indoors year-round. This shift is largely driven by the desire for increased milk production, obtained through the precise feeding of a diet composed of forage and concentrates, and by high land prices. With growing public concern associated with not providing outdoor access to dairy cows, researchers have been searching for answers to the following questions. When given the option to choose, do cows prefer pasture or indoor housing? What are the health benefits of allowing dairy cattle free access to pasture? What aspects of the outdoors influence the cow's preference? In 2009, a study conducted at the UBC Dairy Education and Research Center showed that when given a choice between pasture and indoor housing between the months of May and September, dairy cows spent the majority of the day indoors, but chose to spend 90% of the night on pasture. Indoor housed lactating dairy cows that are given access to the outdoors avoid solar radiation, which explains the preference to be outdoors during the night. More recently, UBC Animal Welfare Program researchers set out to quantify the strength of this preference and found that dairy cattle will work as hard to access pasture by pushing a weighted gate as they are to access fresh feed after milking. From a young age, Anna Marika Smith has been trying to improve the lives of the animals around her. Anna Marika recently just completed her PhD in the Animal Welfare Program at the University of British Columbia where she focused her research on outdoor access for dairy cows. Although there is much research indicating that there are benefits when housing cows on pasture, Anna Marika was also aware that pasture is not always feasible due to land constraints and weather, such as during the wet winter months. Given these challenges, Anna Marika decided to explore alternatives to pasture, such as a deep bedded outdoor open sand or wood shavings pack, these outdoor areas normally require less space than pasture and thus would be easier to implement on most farms. In her first experiment, Anna Marika gave eight groups of 12 lactating dairy cows free access to three different areas during the night. The indoor freestall barn, which the cows were normally housed in, an outdoor sand pack, and a large pasture. She recorded each of her 96 cows' nighttime behavior for three nights in a row. The results indicated that when given access to all areas, cows spent an average 90% of their time on pasture and less than 1% on the sand pack. The cows clearly preferred the pasture over the outdoor sand pack. Despite ample feed being present inside the barn, the possibility for the cows to graze in the pasture or simply the larger space available on the pasture may have played a role in driving this preference. Most interesting, however, was that when the choice for pasture was eliminated and cows could only choose between the freestall barn or the outdoor sand pack, cows spent almost half their night outdoors on the sand pack. These results led Anna Marika to her second set of experiments, where she tested the preference of dairy cows for outdoor access. She completed this study twice, once during the summer with eight groups of 12 cows and once during the winter with seven groups of cows. This time, however, there was no pasture option. Instead, cows were given 24-hour access to an outdoor, soft, deep-bedded pack covered with about 15 centimeters of wood shavings. Cows had free access to the outdoor pack and their behavior was monitored continuously over a five-day period. In the summer, cows spent on average 25% of their time outside on the pack and spent half of the night outdoors. In winter, cows spent relatively little time outdoors, either during the day as well as during the night. Anna Marika recently published the findings of a third experiment that also utilizes the deep bedded pack. In this study, 24 cows were given free access to the outdoor pack, but space allowance was changed every day. A total of 13 different space allowances were randomly applied, without replacement, ranging from 4 to 16 square meters per cow in 1 square meter increments. During the night, but not during the day, cows spent more time outside, with increasing outdoor space allowance. It is the dedication and passion for research from young researchers like Anna Marika from the UBC Animal Welfare Program that is shaping the future of dairy farming and helping to improve the lives of cows worldwide. Thank you.